In the 60s at Creighton, you went to Mass every day. You had mandatory ROTC. California Street ran through the middle of town. The law school was in a small brick building right in the middle of campus. Rod was a contracts professor and business law professor. Rod, I guess, would be the first real professor we ran up against that gave us a pretty good idea of what practicing law was going to be like. When he began teaching contracts, it was the common law. And during his time, we moved to a uniform commercial code. He was able to teach the statutory as well as the common law cases uh, with ease. And now when I get a UCC issue on the court, I always uh, think of Rod, and I always uh, look to see if there's something he's written on that. He was one of the masters of it. He became our associate dean to Dean Doyle in the early 70s, and then he was Steve Franchino's associate dean. I've known Dean Skolnick for 36 years. Actually, uh, he hired me. Rod welcomed women as students, welcomed them, hired them as faculty. He really opened the law school, and from that point, the profession, uh, to women. He and I taught contracts together. Pretty much everything I know about commercial law, I learned from Rod. Professors would never call on me to answer questions because my last name is a little bit difficult or challenging to pronounce. And then one day the unthinkable happened. I heard my name pronounced perfectly by Professor Skolnick, and all I can tell you is that I froze. He said, tell me who is suing whom and for what? And I could feel all these eyes of my classmates on me. And I said, well, the plaintiff is suing the defendant for damages. He threw up his piece of chalk and laughed and said, yes, that is correct. I never, ever saw him humiliate a student. Anybody that's gone to law school knows that there are some confrontational professors. What I took away is that bright people who are in positions of authority can be approachable and, and humble and, and uh, still get the job done. He had a way of indicating that if you were here, other people smarter than you right now had evaluated you and felt you could do the work. So buckle down and do the work. Being Dean is a full-time job in itself, and yet he always worked very closely with the bar, sat in the House of Delegates for many, many years, supported me with all my good ideas and very patiently led me down a different path if the ideas weren't so good. His, his 10 years as dean, he really set up the school to move forward. Dean Skolnick is a dean who has it all. He's wonderful with the students. He's great with the staff, faculty, respect him. I think he brought a, a great sense of collegiality to the faculty. And this faculty was a group of people who really got along with each other. They didn't always agree. Uh, in the faculty conference room, that table saw a lot of arguments about sports and, and the Supreme Court. And Yes, this is where we solve the world's problems. Unfortunately, nobody asks us to. <laughs> he was very proud of the faculty. And law school faculties can be a very independent, individual group. You get 20 law professors uh, sitting around arguing about something will go on for 20 minutes and, and then uh, Rod will speak and it's over, everyone agrees. He brought peace to this school. Uh, one of the things that draws people here is a very collegial atmosphere. Faculty who have been here longer than I say that that was very much Rod Skolnick's focus and great achievement. When I became a dean, a couple of people said to me, you know, it's easier to follow a good dean than a bad dean. And that, maybe it's counterintuitive. Some people might think, well, you don't want to follow a really terrific dean because then you'll pale by comparison. That's nonsense. It's much better to follow a terrific dean because people trust the institution of dean. He gave a lot of us this little badge, which is the motto that uh, he has lived by. Do justice, 
love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Rod has taught uh, that these are the important things. And the good thing about Rod, the great thing about Rod, is that he is both spiritual and religious as well as completely irreligious and irreverent. But he had these sayings from his boyhood home and he would sprinkle them through class and contracts. I can remember Rod coming in and saying repeatedly, um, if you hear hooves, don't look for zebras. Now Catherine, is this the ditch you want to die in? Never get in a pissing match with a skunk. Some of them came from his Iowa farm background and are a little more colorful than uh, some others. If you stir a pot of don't stir a bucket of The more you stir a bucket of the worse it smells. Rod had a number of phrases like that. Wonderful statements of common sense and wisdom. It's kind of practical things to live by. When he interviewed me, he asked me if I thought that I would be happy in this position. I said yes, and periodically during the years, he's asked me that question again. Not if you think you will be happy, but are you happy here? I think I was a better student, better teacher, better colleague because of Rod's influence in my life. In summary, it is presented to that student as most like Professor Skolnick in that the student's character reflects a love for humanity, which is known to all who have studied with Rod Skolnick. You knew he cared individually about every student in the building. He was a teacher first, but he was always aware that what he was trying to do was to prepare lawyers. He's a big part of Creighton. He's a big part of, of legal education. Every, everybody knows him. Rod is probably the patriarch of the Creighton Law School family. He's left his fingerprints. At first, I didn't get it. I thought, you know, Rod, why don't, why don't you get out and come and play golf every day? Finally dawned on me that uh, he didn't need to leave to have fun because he's having fun. We're trying to educate. Yes. Me on the use of a droid. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest joy has been to have taught uh, classes with them because if I'm anything, and I ain't much, but if I'm anything, it's because of what I've learned uh, working with Rod. I cherish my days at Creighton, law degree from Creighton. Of course, uh, Rod was instrumental in doing that. I hope I haven't disappointed him. As Dean, I hope to emulate his enthusiastic mentoring of young faculty, his close relationship with the students when I have taught myself in one setting or another. I have often thought of the persona that he conveyed to those students, to us, the lucky ones. <laughs>